Hey everyone, it's Rob again, and I've got a pretty good score of nickels today. I picked up three boxes, and I'll tell you what this means here in a second, from a few, a few different banks. I picked up a box, a sealed box of bank rolled nickels from a Chase bank, and then I had a couple hundred dollars more I wanted to grab in Wells Fargo boxes, so I stopped by a Wells Fargo, and they didn't have any sealed boxes, but she said she had six trays worth in hers and her gentleman next to her had another four trays worth. So they had basically a hundred rolls. Um, and what they did was they stuck them in a couple of different uh, boxes for me, a quarters box and a dimes box. So I separated them when I got home into a few of my own nickel boxes. Uh, didn't check the enders, just counted the rolls, 50 in each box. We're gonna call those sealed bank boxes, but they're not really sealed, they're just loose rolls, but they still add up to a couple of boxes. So. For this video, I'm gonna go through one of them and see what we get in those loose rolls. And then I'll do a second video on the other loose rolls, as well as that chase uh, box I'll do this weekend as well. Anyway, let's go take a look at these boxes and uh, see what we get in them. All right guys, so here are the two boxes of nickels from Wells Fargo. You recall in the opening, I said, that they were just loose rolls that they had on those trays. And so I took my open boxes when I got home and I just set them in there. I didn't even look at the enders. I literally just stacked them in these two boxes, but they're bank wrapped rolls. So that should be okay. Curious to see, kind of a mix here, kind of a different setup, but it is equivalent to $200 in Wells Fargo nickels. And I will be going through a box at a time and counting it as if it's a complete box each one. So, that being said, let's get into them. All right guys, fifth roll in. I hadn't been getting anything besides a couple of uh, 60s and a nice toned one. And look at these two enders. 1946 Philly. Nineteen forty seven Philly. Pretty good shape too. And the reason why I also wanted to loop you in is when I spilled it out, the I didn't even notice those at first, but I noticed the edge of something and it got me super excited. I took a slight peek just like this and I saw pesos. But it is my first Colombian 2007 50 pesos piece. So that's kind of a cool find there. First foreign coin. We'll get back after this fifth roll. Okay, 11th roll in and uh, looks like we spilled out a 1946. Plain as well, Philly Mint. So that's the third from the 40s and the second 46 Philly. Let's keep going. Very next roll, roll 12, working our way through the roll. I can see here we've got a Another 1946, another appears to be Philly Mint. All right, well, our fourth from the 40s, three 46s and a 47. Let's keep going. Okay guys, a few rolls later, 14th roll. Spilled ourselves out. A 1940 Philly. It's in pretty good shape though, I'll take it especially since it's now our fifth from the 40s. So the loose rolls are shaping up not too bad as far as uh, older coins. Only one from the 50s and only one 2009. Let's keep going. 15th rolling guys and check it out. Coloring looks good. Yep, we got ourselves a Philly Mint Silver Nickel or nickel, 1943, wow. We'll take it, of course we'll take it. So that's our first one of this box and we've got lots of coins to go through. I'll loop you back in if I find some more. All right guys, we just grabbed out the 20th roll. Make sure that's right, yep, 20th roll. Got a pretty nice ender here. I can barely see the date. Looks like it's a 1941. It could be a 47. 
and on the other side it appears to be a 64. So very optimistic about this one. Let me get in there and show you what I find. All right, guys, spilled the roll out. The ender fell out. It is a 1947 Philly. So that's our second 47. And if I find anything more, I'll loop you back in in this roll. Same roll as the 1947's guy. And we got a 1940 plane. And I did notice when I pulled that one away, right behind it is a 41 Philly. So, wow, good, good box or good roll there. We ended up with three from the 40s in one roll. That's probably a record for me in one roll with three 40s. So the 40s are really stacking up here. What do we got? We got three, six, nine from the 40s and four from the 50s. With just a few coins to go here. And um, we got that 64 Ender along with a beautiful 1962. Yeah, that's nice as well. So that's it for that roll. Let's keep looking. Had kind of a dry streak. We're in our 32nd roll. And we finally got another coin we're showing. A 1941 Philly. So it's our 10th 40s coin. Starting to move up with some 50s now. We got seven. We'll keep you posted. 34th roll in, figured I'd show you guys this one. It's a really fine example of a 1954 Denver. It's in pretty amazing condition. It's almost uncirculated, but the steps really, they're, they're not too bad either. I'll have to check it under the macro, but this is a really nice 1954 almost uncirculated coin. We'll include it in the wrap up if it's worth showing more on. I'll take a look at the steps, see how they look. I can see them from here, but we'll get a closer look and see how they come out. Okay, 43rd roll in. We spilled out another 1941 Philly. And I will tell you, this has been a really good 40s box. We've got 11 from the 40s, 11 from the 50s. So. 22 older coins is pretty good so far. And like I said, I still have seven rolls in the box plus this one right here. So we'll see if anything else is uh, gonna show itself. Four rolls in the box. Roll number 30 or 46. And I see this spill out of the center of the roll. Another 1941, but this one is an S. I will take it. Let's keep looking. All right, guys, three rolls in the box now. 47th roll. As I'm going through them, I see an S. So we've got our second silver and it's an S mint. 1942 S. Not the greatest condition, but you know what? It's, it's a silver war nickel and it's a 42 and it's an S. I We'll take it. We've got now two in the box. Love when they come late and love when they come early. I'll be back in if I find even more. All right, guys, so we finished that box. Got a bunch of throwaways, 70 from the 60s. Ended up with that uh, 50 pesos coin. Three kind of cool toning, which I've pulled aside. We've got uh, four 2009s. We've got uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 from the 50s, all the way from 53 to 59, just several different dates. And then from the 40s, we got two from the 40s, four from 41, two of those silver war nickels, a 42S and a 43P. And then we got a Set of three 46s, a 47, and another 47. So not a bad hunt. Hope you enjoyed it with me. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, 
Thanks for watching.